what's going on everyone so it's been a hot minute since we've talked about the shop car and me and Carter are out here um, kind of moved the trailer around so I guess I'll give you guys an update on where we're at and what the plans are so we are um, registered for sick week and that's February mid-February I think it's like the 13th of February so uh, today is the day after Thanksgiving so Black Friday um, so we got a little over two and a half months. Um, the motor's still getting built um, by Dustin. And I don't know if he started on it or not. Um, so the motor combo is a 388 dark block, dark crank, uh, MGP rods, uh, CP pistons, uh, and then we're going to do a set of Brodix heads on top of that with the same intake and everything. Um, John Capizzi is specking the cam through Baker. Um, they're going to do the cam on that. Hopefully it's pretty rowdy. Um, and then, oh, Carter's trying to get in back there. <laughs> so, um, we, uh, so that's the plan for the motor. The trans is back from Capizzi. Um, he went through it, got it all right. Um, so we're good on that end. Um, the only other upgrades that we're really going to do, right, we switched turbos. I sold the old one. We went to a GT5598 from Force Inductions. We're just doing the TDI turbo for now. Um, it's a journal bearing turbo. And while it's not the, you know, $5,000 um, Force Inductions one, it'll do what we need it to. Um, we can always upgrade later if needed. Uh... Other than that, the only thing we really need to do this winter, we need to pull the housing out. Um, it was the first four-link housing that we had built, um, and we learned a few things on it, um, mostly welding techniques. So there's just some spots in there that we didn't anticipate having to not. That's a bad way to put it. We <laughs> it was so there's some pinholes in right in the corners, right where the axle tubes connect to the front um, face of it. Right there, there's like two pinholes that it never leaks when we're just racing normally, but the high temps driving and when the oil thins out is when we get those leaks. So we're gonna fix those. I'm gonna send the shocks off because they have you know a decent amount of road miles and trailer miles. Send those off to Chris Bell. Um, and that's kind of what we're gonna work on today. But other than that, we need to put weight tabs in the back for uh, weight bars so that we can um, so we can add weight to the rear of the car. So that was part of the problem last year was the, um, the I guess the weight bias was not great for what we're trying to do. Uh, a lot of the tracks aren't fully prepped tracks. Um, so we're moving some weight around, kind of put some decent lead bars in the back. So need to do that. But other than that, the motor, trans is done, weight tabs, pull the rear end out, send the shocks off. That's about it for this winter. Um, I'm gonna add some EGTs, sensors to it. Um, but there she is in all her glory. Kind of been chilling in the trailer this winter. Um, kind of tucked away, safe. Um, we, uh, yeah, that's it. That's there's really nothing too crazy. They put we're gonna put dual shoots on it, so I'm gonna sell this um, assembly. And Carter, you having a good time? <laughs> you having a good time? No. <laughs> what are you doing? Oh, here's a truck. There's a, that's kind of an update. So the reason I brought the trailer around is we're gonna pull the shocks off in the trailer. Um, the shop is completely packed. Like I said, it's Black Friday, so we have a bunch of stuff going on. Um, shop's busy, I don't wanna pull this in and lose space. So I'll go back to doing it the old school way, doing it, you know, building it in a trailer or one car garage um, it's it is what it is it's it's racing if you want to go race you make do so i thought about not pulling the rear end yet because it's not that big of a deal um to pull the housing out and weld it and repaint it i don't know if i'm gonna have it powder coated or not but i'm gonna have it at least uh repainted just you know rattle rattle can so uh yeah, that's about it. There's really nothing special to what we're doing this winter other than the motor. That's the big one. So hopefully we can get, uh, you know, make some more power, a little bit more reliable. Um, 
and then we're gonna go to sick week and run rowdy radial we did get some wheels i guess i could uh could show that we'll walk inside real quick so we got some wheels they're done by macfab but i got them from another guy um so these are 15 by 10s not as fancy of the beadlock ring as on our 13 inch wides but these will do pretty well um, these are 10 inches they're three inch backspace so it should let the tire sit about where it is on the car now i'm actually gonna put the <laughs> what <laughs> so i'm gonna put these uh I'm going to mock these up real quick and kind of see what they look like when we take the wheels off if I pull the housing today, which I haven't really decided if we're going to pull the housing or not. So, um, but yeah, shop, since you guys haven't seen, <laughs> car just wants me to work on the car. But uh, the Motion Raceworks truck, we got a template made for the back window. Um, cage is in it. Mark was working on patch panels down there. So covering up those holes that you have to cut out. Cages in it. This is a cage kit now, by the way. So, you can be S trucks, can have a cage. Um, and then we cage kits rolling out. I cut that last night. I got some mild steel sticks ready for the next cage kit that's going on the Dragon. Um, working on Zach's car and Cody's car over there. And we got more sticks for the cage kits that are going there, probably tomorrow or Monday. Shop update. Thought you guys, it's pretty busy in here. I didn't want to get the shop car and then do you know take up space i hate like i said customers come first so we'll work on the trailer it is what it is we'll put up on jack saying it's not a huge deal um so that's where we're at and so i'm gonna get to work and uh hopefully get housing out and work on all this um that way we can be ready for sick week um yeah it's a lot to do motor hopefully will be done um that's kind of out of my hands at this point but uh, I have faith that will pull through <laughs> and get it done. It was kind of short notice. Uh, after I let go of Drag Week, I started purchasing all the parts. So kind of blessing in disguise because if I would have been still racing now or a couple weeks ago, it would have been pushed back even further. So I might get working on it and uh, show you guys any updates. Got the housing out. You guys saw on the time lapse, it only sucked mildly. It wasn't too terrible though. Being in the trailer does suck. But as you can tell, um, sitting out in the trailer and doing dragon drives, mainly dragon drives, is not easy on things. So as you can tell, all bolts are like somewhat rusted. That's just from just sitting out in the trailer and then doing drag week where you're driving through puddles and stuff like that. So if you guys want to keep your housings nice, um, I would not suggest dragon drives. <laughs> if you want a pristine undercar but but it's really not that bad um, as you can see this is where we had to seal up and i bet there's a pinhole right down there um on both sides too like i said this was v1 of the four link housing kind of r d on it um it's weird that it leaked there because i always make sure to get down in there so i'm gonna wire wheel that off and check out what happened but yeah um we're all not perfect and stuff happens so i'm gonna take it out fix it pull the axles out um just get it all down to bare metal um and then probably gonna have it powder coated just so it looks nice because this is just paint because we we're in a rush to get the car done and as you can tell it's not very friendly <laughs> to uh brake clean stuff and then this like these ends have some play to them so i might go ahead and replace all the all the high ends, I really don't want to, but you know, 
that's how it goes sometimes. But yeah, this is uh, this is the housing that's been under the shop there for the entire year. Um, had TBM brakes on it. Still looking good. No wear on the rotor, so that's cool. Um, great brakes, by the way. So I'm gonna get this out, get it cleaned up, and we'll uh, pick it up from there. We got the third member out, got the axles out, and I have it kind of propped up here because I'm going to let this drain for a minute because I have to weld on here and here. Um, so that's, I don't want to smell it. So it's, <laughs> it's just draining. Hopefully it drains most of that out and seeps down overnight. I'm going to keep the pan on it. Um, I got it kind of tilted up. Hopefully it drains most of it because um, I don't want to clean it out. So that's all I have for today. That was kind of the uh, that was kind of the goal for today. Um, here's the shocks that we're sending off. Going to Chris Bell um, at Kinetic, so he's going to take care of checking them over, possibly revalving a little bit. Um, I'm leaving the settings where we last had them at Drag Week, and the track was pretty good. So I'm hoping we can get a little more range out of it um, and just see what he can do with them. So if you guys haven't seen before, here's the. Uh, the dual stage rear spring setup. Um, this is an 80 pound, this is a 300 pound. So, or no, this is like a 60 or 70, I believe, not an 80. We ran an 80, it was too much spring, so we stepped down to this, so. Different stuff, like I said. Um, this whole car is a learning experience. Um, it's just teaching us more about how we can build better customer cars and make you know better decisions on what parts to use, so. It's all learning, that's all it is. Like these spots, um, that's 100% my fault. There's probably little pinholes right there down those bottoms. Um, like I said, this is the first four link housing that we ever built, so we learned. Um, we learned where those failures are and we'll improve on it. So I'll, uh, guys, next time I'm gonna let this drain out and I'm gonna fix, weld it up and get it to powder coat.